Disclaimer. This video contains properly censored, but spicy content. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, once again, welcome to Playing by the Pound, where we check out Vor and Fat for stuff all over the place. This is another offline recording of some Barb Fighter based content. This time it's I Ate You Beta, The Stories of Helix, a project done by All Snaps that was uh, actually abandoned and replaced with another project. Uh, despite it being abandoned, it does have some uh, interesting content in it. Uh, before we begin, though, uh, much like I have expressed before in my Barb Fighter vi videos that I'm sure a lot of you should have seen by now, um, the content in these Barb Fighter like games is generally not explicit, but usually still contains some very spicy stuff. Full Torvor, sometimes AV, uh, usually in platonic fashions, but it is nonetheless kind of spicy. So that's why these are offline recordings. Uh, so I can. Uh, Record, and then edit. Add censoring, thanks to uh, Chibi Charm for the censorship. You will be not seeing anything of particular badness, I guess you could say. Um, but in addition, I can also cut scenes and separate parts out if I feel it necessary. I am doing my best, and my best is certainly on target, to curate these videos for YouTube. Uh, to, for being appropriate on YouTube. So, nonetheless, this is still spicy content even with the proper censorship. So, if you don't like Vor, if you don't like this stuff, don't watch the video. That all being said, if you want a bigger description and a bigger disclaimer, go watch my first Barb Fighter video's intro, because I'm just going over the cliff notes here. But, let's go ahead and hop into this. Uh, this is a Vor game, if that isn't clear. Um, warning, lots of ore. Okay, you probably can tell from that. So some tips over here. This plays much like the other Barb Fighter games, except for there's one thing that's new. Double tap up to block. And also, if an enemy's attack goes orange, you can stop with, with an attack. So, a counter and guard system exists, which I don't know how much I will master, but it's probably important I sort of figure it out, because it'll probably unlock more, uh, more options. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, because this was a beta that did get abandoned, there isn't too much to do here, but we have the usual controls. Um, we have attack, and we are we are much like much like in Panfighter, we are definitely a kobold. Now very much more obviously a kobold. And this character is adorable, by the way. Um, but we can dodge roll as usual. Pretty good dodge roll, too, with that. All Snaps' later projects here have really set, like, a higher bar in animation. Um, but yeah, we can now block with double tap up. And apparently we can counter if we attack at the right time. But with all that being said... Oh yeah, there's no sound to this. Because it was in, because of being a beta and all that. We only have a few things. We have a fox. We And I think two of these are duplicates. So I think there's three carriages in total. So let's start with the fox, which is actually my favorite one. Foxo, clever. This fella, this fella has a lot. He does a lot. He's a good fox. He's a good fox with some tricks. Ah. Ow. Ah, I just tried the guard. It worked just fine. Boop. I guess I, guess I can win these. I guess I can win these uh, encounters if I. Oh well, didn't win that one. <laughs> if I fight correctly, I was going to say. Fox. He starts in a bush because he's sneaky. Then he comes out once he has you bellied. So we can shuffle around. Make him shuffle around in the process. We can do slow struggles, which are generally more appealing for the pred. But it looks like the only thing that's going to take any action here is if we just wait, so... Let's just wait. Nice, nice. It appears after waiting a bit that we need to press down, if that makes sense. Alternatively, we can digest. 
which doesn't actually have an animation. Alright, that's fair. Down it is then. Oh. And suddenly we're out! Uh, he's out of the bush too. No, never mind, he went back in the bush. Just have to wait for too long. Oh, I got him out of the I did it! I knocked him out of the bush without him meeting me. So he likes to go in the bush when he's uh, has a moment, but he will also be stalking us outside the bush if we get him out of the bush one way or another. Which, uh... Oh. I can bonk him when he does... When it's, there's different colors that indicate different actions I could take, I believe. Not sure what all the actions are, though. Ah, I see. I'm learning. I want to beat him in the bush now, because I, I don't know how to dodge... I don't know how to deal with one of his attacks. One of them requires a guard, one of them requires a counter. That much I did figure out. Now I, I want to pull him back in the bush and actually try that again. Because, uh... If I could beat him two out of three of his attacks, that's probably enough to um, win that encounter, I would say. I don't know how you win the last one, though. <laughs> I like the angle for that. I don't think I have to sit through that, which makes me happy. Here, let me get him back in the bush by stepping away for a minute. I'm surprised he didn't, he didn't run through the bush when I did that. Why well, aren't you being a brave boy? Uh oh. <laughs> no, I got numbed. A brave fox, even willing to eat my sword. Hmm. Let's push our way up. Oh, I just, I just did a sigh. We can't get out that way, yeah? Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> we have been defeat. Uh oh. I like this fox. I like this fox and his foxy eyes. It's very good. If we do the green arrow direction, so he kind of rolls his belly around. I like that. Let's wait. Let's wait, and then do a gentle struggle. I believe that's what we have to do. We must relax, Foxo. Foxo is relaxed. Foxo has... <laughs> Foxo has allowed his passage. <laughs> Also, with the way Foxo's flanks are, I almost wonder if I don't need a sensor. <laughs> no, maybe a small sensor, just to be on the safe side. Now I'll have to think about it. Hmm, if that's what a not gentle struggle does when he has his uh, butt up like that. What, what happens if I do the gentle struggle? Let's see. Gentle struggle just causes him to roll his belly, it seems. That's fine. So I gotta be less gentle then. I must I must take I must have purpose in what I do. Hmm. 
Guardian is hard. Ooh, head first. Mischievous fella. So if we do digest, he just kind of... If I could tell, it just lets us out. <laughs> or maybe not this time. Eh, whatever. I'll just respawn and uh, poke him back into fighting mode. Or not. Alright, let me refresh him. Mysterious and playful. Wait, mischievous and playful? Mischievous and playful, you'll go through. I mean, going through is common with most of the Preds in Barfighter games, so let's be fair. Ah, huh, he spawned actually out and about. Interesting. So if it's orange, I can counter it. I'm, I'm trying to learn, I guess you could say. gonna catch me when I'm trying to like sneak away. Oh, he's back in the bush now. So let's see if I can counter. So it's it's uh, guard when red and when orange attack. Some still don't know what they would do with blue though. Perhaps a different attack, I don't know. doing the wrong one that I can't counter. Damn it, I want to win this encounter. I don't know if it matters, but I want to win it. Ooh, what the? Whoa. That's new. I'll give him a hug. I'll go. <laughs> I, did a, I did a friendship command and he just patted me down like this. Interesting, interesting. Aw, licks! That's cute. In. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like the slow swallow on that one. Very good. Very nice. Quick little trip. I may not be good at the attack commands, but I can be friendly. <laughs> I like how the kobold's like, what? I could have sworn there was another lit up command last time I went down like this. That gentle muzzle cup with his mouth, I like that. Kind of like a big kiss at first, and then, boop. <laughs> so, the butt fall. <laughs> we bonk our head, that seems a little bit, that seems a little bit troublesome. Well, okay then. Oh, we could struggle here. Not that it helps, but we can. Let's refresh him again. Can I be friendly when he's in the bush? I can. Oh, I do have different actions here. That's what I thought. Oh. 
<laughs> that that barb fighter glitch that I've seen before, where I have commands for an entirely different set of actions, and if I try them, then I suddenly have the event going on switch out for another event. But uh. Oh, I deflected that. Nice. Get the hang of it. There's so little time to react, right? So I'm trying to counter his, uh, bite. That eats me up. But it's hard. That one, yeah. There, I did it. This is a good fox. I like this fox. Can we spot him in his bush? I want to have one more go at him. In the bush. Let me despawn him for a second. That'll probably be in the bush. No? Sometimes he just doesn't spawn in the bush, I guess. That's weird, because every time I normally spawned him, he was always in the bush first. But I notice now, it doesn't seem to be always the case. Which is kind of tricky. Like, bush maybe sometimes, but not all the time. In fact, not often at all. Well, I guess I could just defeat him. That'd probably put him in the bush again. I don't think I have defeated him before, so let's do that. Might be a little tricky. He's actually kind of wrecking me, but I'm also hurting him, too. Oh wow, I got some good combo. Oh, there, he went to the bush now. Actually, there's an easier way to do this, I just realized. Of course, it's a bit of a cheater way, but all I have to do is refresh the page for a second. And double check something. Ah, okay. When air grabs you, I may have a chance to escape. When you see these colors, press the corresponding direction. Left, right, red, up, blue, down. So green is left, right, red's up, blue, down. Okay. Red, up, blue, down, and green the other. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. It's a bit cheaty, but... There's actually a button down here that lets me slow down how the game runs. Which, if I use... I now have all the time... to attempt my best. I'm still going to mess it up, probably. Ah, I see. Blue. And then I bah, dodge under and then hit him. I just want to win this bush battle. I just want to see what happens if I do. I see how this works. Okay, that straight up looks like I just cut his throat. <laughs> Can't be me. Bap. <laughs> Not when I have <laughs> slow speed so I can actually respond in, in, in fast enough. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> we win, and then we were scared for some reason. Actually, it's kind of good because I, I want to win. That's kind of the point. Oh no! Well, time to relax the fuck so I can get out of his butt. <laughs> As you do. 
common canid, uh, com a common canid, uh, campaign. <laughs> I don't know. Got him halfway down, though. About. No! What? How did he have more range than I did? Well... Onward and... Downward. <laughs> we might have to pass these tunnels a few times, but... We'll get them. Just you wait. May seem like we're spending an inordinate amount of time on Foxo here, but... There's only three characters, so... It's really not too crazy. Also, I just like Fox a lot. Can you blame me? Damn it, man. Oh, at least I struggle a little bit and hurt him a bit. Just noticed that I actually did, I actually did some damage there. Can I do damage by... No, I can't. Okay. Not while in the belly, just while in the jaws. He actually, I should be more aggressive because he tries to back off from me to get himself in a better position, but oh shit. I'm in truth, I have the advantage if I'm up close. I got him! Poof! I got him. We have defeated Foxo. I like him a lot, though. Alright, moving on to the next guy. The, the next guy is Tyran Norxenus. Yes, that is <laughs> Slick. And he's our next guy. He's an Orca Dragon, from what I can tell. He's a little bit mean. Bites. He's very pol unpolite. Also apparently missing me? What? Come on, dude. Ow. Actually, a lot of these characters are unfinished, so ooh. Well, I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> like literally, because there's no commands or anything, so. <laughs> End of objective. Under Orca Paw. Orca Tyrannosaurus's paw. Or Ty Tyranor Organus. I understand the name now, but I was I was like I'm thinking like how oh, I could structure that better. I think I would say Tyranorcosaurus. I think I would I think that would sound better. Tyranorcosaurus. Still a bit of a still a bit of a mouthful that, but so I don't know if this guy has actual boop. <laughs> Oh, we got stepped on the other direction this time, I think. Okay, you could say that we're basically at his mercy, but you could also just say he's just doing a really killer back massage. That's how you do it, man. I bet he'd be good at crushing grapes for wine. <laughs> Tail, ow. So, lots of bites. Any swallows? I don't know of him. 
I don't think I ever found... Let me see what my notes say. I believe this guy is unfinished and does no more whatsoever. Good foot pin, though, is what I wrote. <laughs> well, fair enough. That seems pretty accurate here. Good, pretty awesome character design. Shame it's not shame it's not, and will never be finished, because this was a beta that never continued. Still, pretty cool to look at. Dip. I do like a little bit of a uh, dinosaur paw dominance. Always kind of nice. Alright, moving on to the next one. Last one, I think. Last one? I think the last one is two. I believe these are both... Yeah. Jadros, Dragon, Jadros, Dragon. I believe there might be a difference between them. I'm not sure. I could double check, but uh, this is Jadros. He's a big old dragon. Um, you can only face him, so... Oh, you know what? I didn't try one thing, actually, with uh, Tyrannicus. Let's... I doubt he'll actually respond to this, but let's be for... What the hell? Excuse me. I've never seen that animation before. I'm on your head. I'm on your back. I'm not sure what happened there. I feel like the freeze frame occurred. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Did we miss something here? What's he doing? Sliding around like that. What if this bump you? Come on. Friend. He doesn't understand, friend. However, what was the sliding animation? I went. It's kind of cool. I guess that's why he's slick. Puts me on his head, then. It's really cute. <clears throat> that honestly looks like he's about to sit on me, but then he doesn't actually do it. Let's try something. When he does the slidey thing. What can you do? I'm just, uh. Make it so I can actually see what happens up there, because we can kind of get hit by the menu up there. <laughs> that eye. Like, what is going on? I'm up on the- I'm up really high now. <laughs> That's a good freeze frame. Yeah, that looks like it's leading to something that doesn't actually happen. <laughs> Again, unfinished AI. Let's go back to Jadros, though. Hey, Jadros. No. I like the uh, gradient shade in his mouth. Thus, being obvious, I was being sipped to the darkness. Where can we go in him? It's like up's an option, which... Well, it's an option until he puts his pot in, in the way and says no. <laughs> hmm. Well, I seem to appreciate that. The left and right are broken. They're not finished, those animations. Let's just wait. Also, might I say, I appreciate when a character uh, has a blush color that isn't something besides pink. It's nice to see different variations, like, well, like this nice kind of neon blue. Oh, somebody's happy. Is this my end? I think this may be an end, a game over dead end here. But whatever, we left a we left a dragon happy and and needing at his own belly. Seems fine to me. <laughs> Let's refresh then. There's more we could do. There is another path we could take. I think. So let us uh, delve. What a dungeon delving game, but it's all four. That'd be great.
All right, let's just press the light blue arrow to the right. And drop this into a lower section, I guess you could say. Oh. And a lower, lower section. Are we, uh... Is this our... Oh, nope, something still happening. All oh, right. Just took a, you know, it's a few twists and turns. Takes a second. <laughs> uh, let's actually try if I can be friendly. Can I be friendly? Oh. Well, I can only be friendly if you don't immediately eat me, uh, Jadros. <laughs> let's try refreshing him. Must get close for fist bump. Fist bump, fist bump. There we go. I did it. What you think? Hmm. This doesn't really seem like an answer, but okay. Oh. Actually, no, do the lick. I like the lick. Oh, you actually are licking me. Hello. I am, uh, I'm okay with this. Lick, lick, lick. Oh, I don't need to escape. I don't need to escape so that good. Huh, now I only have the escape error. I should have two more options. That's odd. Oh, I'm dizzy. He's dizzy. Oh, look at that big gulp. That was actually really good. I like that. Well, I am happy with that because I hadn't uh, had seen that animation before. It's funny, just things I'm learning about different animations and such. Actually, isn't a different uh, pose now? We can think, anyways. No, he's gonna get up and. Never mind. I switched his pose, <laughs> and this actually soft. This locks us down a dead end path again. That being said, this is very interesting. I didn't even realize the whole lick thing was a thing, and that mo that particular uh, orovore was pretty good. Okay, so if I wait here, I'll just lick me, and now I'm in his belly because the AI broke, and now I'm getting away. Okay. <laughs> like a big old dog, except for not because he's a trick. <laughs> the dizziness is really cool because there's actually no indicator that if you get licked enough, you'll get dizzy. So that's just something you have to assume. Oh, that squish. Oh, that's good. If you press multiple directions, there's multiple uh, little, little, little mouth no, I guess mouth play is an okay word to use, yeah. I guess that's an appropriate enough word. That happens. Yeah, see, I have another option here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a common issue with uh, the Barb Fighter engine thing, is that sometimes it confuses which event you're in and which event you aren't in, and sometimes will suddenly teleport you to a past event. In this case, it just really wants me in the uh, blushy dragon belly. <laughs> it just really wants me to be soft locked in there. And I mean soft locked in quite the most literal of terms, considering there's a lot of soft flesh in there and you're kind of locked in. Um, no, I'm not complaining though. I'm not complaining at all. So there is another Jadros. I right, well, I guess as heartbreaking as it is, I guess I should probably run up here and uh, stab him a bunch like a meanie. I always feel bad attacking these prats, even even 
Those are really, really big asshole friends. But most of them are at least kind of friendly. Vor is not a hostile action in itself. Dude. Oh, the earthquake happened. Alright, so... The other Jadros on this list. I'm not really sure if there's actually any difference between this and the last one. But I guess we'll just have to look. I I'm not sure if there is a difference. Well, I mean, let's just do a quick examination, see if we can't figure it out. Well, it still seems to be a Licky Boy the same way. Such a tease. Kobolds and dragons and vor. And a, 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 a story as old as time, really. <laughs> Honestly, the idea of kobolds worshipping dragons is... Yeah. It's always been a good thing, in my opinion. <laughs> but this boy... It seems like he's doing the same things as before. From what I'm gathering here. I'm not sure why there's a duplicate. Maybe I, perhaps, uh, since this was a beta, I could what I could see as to why there's a duplicate character. Uh, one thing that would make a lot of sense, at least if I was making a game like this, is I might copy the last character I made into a new character slot before like editing that slot to have a unique character. So that's something I could see myself like doing, just just copying a character to open up another slot and have some basic stats already there because I copied the character, rather than just having an empty slot before uh, changing and tweaking and editing it into a new new creature, a new slot, a new whatever. So that may be what happened here. Jadros is purely just cloned to uh, prepare for a fourth character without actually having ever made one. But that is really it for uh, I Ate You Beta. Because um, it was a beta that never got finished. Still, really cool. And uh, some pretty fun characters here that aren't in the uh, Fallout project that All Snaps uh, was working on. So, he kind of, he said that it was potentially possible these characters would come back into the new thing he was working on, but it hasn't happened so far, so I Ate You Beta has unique content. But, yeah, that was I Ate You Beta, and I hope you guys enjoyed as much as this plushy dragon does. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>